Okay, so um, I've made up some door cards and wrapped them in carbon fibre. So the next job is to do the fixing. So I'm using the existing holes there. What I'm doing is I'm using these clips here, which I'm riveting in to those original holes. I'm going to do some at the top as well. And then that way I can screw these on properly. Then I've just got to make a door handle of sorts. But yeah, that's the job I've done today. Carbon fibre effect door cards. Lightweight, just using plyboard, very light plyboard. So uh, I'm just going to start putting all those uh, rivets in now. Right, so I've um, done the uh, rivet screw and rivets there they're all done so I just need to do some top ones as well and then we can mark up where we're going to be putting these in regarding to our carbon fiber effect door cards so the next job is to mark up where these are actually going to be fitting okay so I've um, drilled out two more holes at the top and put the rivets in. So now I've just got to mark up on the back of this where the actual holes are. So I make it easier to um, mark up then. Might even put a bit of coloured ink on there. And then by placing the mat on there, it will mark out hopefully where these go. So that's the next job. Okay, so uh, that's what the door card's going to look like. I'm going to stick those black handles somewhere about here and then that be on and sorted just going to mark those out like that and then when I get the right screws I will fix this in so I've put the new carbon fibre door card on this side looks okay just needs to probably spray up over the top just to make it tidy and spray down there a bit of black as well. Yeah, it's looking okay. Not bad, I mean it's only there to serve a purpose of covering up the door card or where the door mechanics are, so next job is to do the other one the other side and then we can carry on later with the other bits. Okay, so I've um, what I've done is I've put drilled these all in. I'm going to paint these two black and then what I've done is I've put another bit over the top there, glued it on and put a race handle on there so we can shut the door now. Just got to stick that into there, put a couple more screws in there just to hold that in. That side's all done. Cut a hole in the roof and put a scoop on there. So what I'll do is I'll tidy this up and spray it red around there and that's wrapped in carbon. And then I've done the same on the bonnet, put some two grills on there. So uh, next job is to smooth all that down and clean it all up, spray that red, might even carbon fibre that as well. Um, got ordered some someone to do some graphics on the side of the car with the Citroen logo. I've ordered a spoiler, so that'll come in in the next few days. Um, I'm going to strip this out and carbon fibre this and carbon fibre that as well. Probably hydro dip that. So that'll make that look a lot more smarter. If I could have taken that, I would have done that as well. But this is all going to be in um, suede leather. So that will go on there. Uh, I've ordered a roll cage to be fitted by a friend. So he's going to weld me up one. So yeah, that's going on all right. I've got an air filter to go on there as well. So yeah, quite pleased with how it's looking for now. But uh, let's come back for part three and we'll carry on with all this stuff. Got to put the tow, tow, tow bars on the back as well. So I've got a fixed one to go on there. I've got some canards to go on the bottom there. 
and on the front as well. So yeah, got to clean those up, tidy that all up, fill, fill here, sand it, and then spray red over the top. Got some red spray. So yeah, that's the next stage. Let's come back for more. Then thanks for watching.